Hey guys, it's Saturday, January 4th. We're gonna announce the winner of our last round of SUF Elite. This was the October round of 2019, which means it was 12 weeks starting in October. All these guys and some people that aren't here, they went straight through Thanksgiving and Christmas. First off, thank you so much for voting. If you're watching this and you submitted your vote, we appreciate you. It was another tight race. Number two finisher is her, actually her second time in a row where she finishes number two, which means she's on an amazing path of losing weight gradually. Hey, Jenny, you're most yeah. 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 So how many, how many pounds did you lose this last, last round? 21. 21, and last round before that? 23. 23? Wow. So what are you gonna do this round? Another 20. Another 20, 20 pounds. Yeah. So guys at home, all you guys at home, you guys, it's January now. Ask yourself how long you've been overweight and how long it's gonna take you to lose it. If you've been overweight for years, you can't lose it in just a couple weeks. It's gonna take you just as long to lose it. So Jenna's a great example of somebody that's just consistent and she's doing it gradually. So what, what are your biggest habit changes that you have? Uh, what would you have to say? I know we had the same conversation 12 weeks ago. But. I know, I think this time is the consistency because um, um, Everybody knows, you know, exercise, right, diet or nutrition, cardio. Even though, you know, I cheat here and there, but the, I consistently come to work out, eat right. And my support from my friends, my, my elite friends, my jump crew, everybody, and Sonia here. And if you do have, do you ever have cravings? Yes, I do have cravings, but I allot myself 10 grams of sugar, yeah. whether it's chocolate, whether it's cookies, I look online, we look online, and then I can only have 10 grams of sugar a day. So if that grease peanut butter is 10 grams, then I could eat that, but, and then, or half of it, just to satisfy my cravings. It's crazy. I don't think I will achieve what I am achieving right now, if not for my support system, because it keeps me sane. The number one finisher is actually a second time winner. He won this uh, round before. Uh, I think when this guy just, when he sets his mind to something, he just goes, he puts on his blinders. Very well deserved, works really hard, right? Very hard. What do you have to say about him? Um, he was very, um, he was consistent. So if there's a, a secret, it's being consistent. Uh, he was consistent, he would come in, he was just single-minded, he knew what he wanted. So the winner for uh, last round was Luis Fonseca. I know when I came back and uh, she did a regular session class, she's like, oh, go run down the street and come back. I ran, I came back, and I was just like, <gasps> I had this heart, like, I was breathing really hard, and she's like, why are you breathing hard? Like, that wasn't even a run, what's wrong with you? That's not good. No, like, I know. It was just me getting back in the zone and thinking, getting back in the regiment, like how fun it is and stuff like that. What did you enjoy the most, like the results or just like the... Actually me eating as good as long as I did. I was really, like I would come work out most of the time and I would go out and eat junk food. Yeah. So me actually finding the, the time to just cook and eat whatever I was cooking was really good for like me. Like you were getting proud of yourself? Yeah. Yeah. The main theme that I think we're hearing is that whole Steve McQueen image of being a lone wolf, doing everything on your own, that doesn't exist. You always need somebody to hold you accountable. You need support. You need other people around you. So for those of you watching at home, you need to find some support somewhere. If it's at home, at a gym that you go to, or your, your people that you work out with, you guys all agree? Yes. Yeah. I always tell them that like, don't, don't stay stagnant because what happens to water that's stagnant? It stinks. You don't want to stink. So Jen, Jen, you know, she, she, she has a goal set and we're gonna get there. Like these two have super challenging goals, but we're gonna get there. 